Hey yo, my name's Kinetics, and today we're taking a look at this damn thing. Congratulations on your purchase. Unfortunately, you probably wouldn't be here unless you're having the same problem as me. Okay, so I bought this G4 because I wanted to include, like, increase the quality of my videos. Slow pans, everything, but we're all here for a reason. Unfortunately, if you followed the directions they shipped with it, it tells you to upgrade your firm firmware first thing. From all my research, you don't want to do that. If you haven't upgraded the firmware, stop here and turn it on and just see if it works. I know what you're thinking. F Who researches problems before, before they have a problem? If you have upgraded the firmware, I'm going to try to fix it today or I'm going to ship it back, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Upgraded firmware, brand new firmware, uh, followed the directions to a T, no batteries in it, um, opened the COM3 port, upgraded it with whatever that freaking Bose thing is, it was correct. But anyways, when I turn it on, look at this, wrong button, it's on the bottom by the way, if you haven't found that yet. Right? Like, what the f It looks like a shit sprinkler. It looks like my after a long night of drinking one of those little twirly cup teacup things at Disneyland like what the f is this really I'm probably gonna kill it doing this but I'm just gonna send it back if that happens anyways we're gonna fix this today if you're just doing any aberration like this let's fix it okay we're gonna go through this step by step so here we are at the home page um, this is where you want to start just put in Feutech up here, dot com, and uh, then click on the home button, and it'll take you to this page, right? So this is what I did. I clicked on the freaking downloads, like it says, and went here and tried to sort out this freaking mess. Don't do any of this. Go to products, and then click on your product, which is this. then go to download here and here is the ones we need and you don't have to sort through all the crap okay our main objective is to undo what we've done we want to go back to the original firmware you need the gimbal update software you have to have this and it is a standalone software program uh, I won't install it to your computer you can delete it when you're done anyways download this and have this on standby we need this downloaded before we go any further. Both of these, actually. Both of these download. Battery's out. Set it flat on a surface. Okay, you're going to open up your update software. Okay, you should be looking at something like this. This is the upgrade software by itself. We're going to double click it, open it up, uh, verify your COM3 and your device manager, wherever that is. You can even go to your search right here. I don't know what you got. If you got Windows 7, um, it should be down in your start menu. But you can write device manager in here. I'm just joking. Device manager right here. Okay, so this is where you want to be and go to your ports. And here it is, Silicon Lab. So it makes a reference to this, but it doesn't show you how to get there. So that's how you get to that. And then you can see it's COM3 because it references that. Or you can change it to whatever it is. I know it needs to be below 10. Open this. Literally right now my setup is just that USB plugged into my computer. It's not even anywhere near my G4 right now. So it is just reading that there's a USB connection on a COM3. Use the USB connector. I don't know why, but just use it. So we're going to open it. Once you've done that, take your piece of shit G4 and then plug it in. And you're going to see the light come on. And it should say link OK in whatever version you're running. OK, you want this to be version 1. I'm not going to undo it because I've already fixed it. But you're going to say open file and right here this is what you want to install and say update now it's gonna run through some 
whatever. It's going to count to like 99, like three or four times. Once it's done with that, it's going to say send OK. Click that. Then close this. Then unplug it. So we just got this. Let's take our batteries, put it back in, and let's check it. Doesn't feel like there's any restrictions. So I'm going to set it down. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm going to click the button on the bottom. And I'm just going to watch it for a second. Oh shit, it's freaking out. But it stopped. Okay. Okay. Okay, just calibrated. Look at that. Okay. It's working. Kind of. If it's not freaking out anymore, let's go ahead and continue those steps and do 1.11. If it's still working, then move up to version 13. Once version 13 is done, you can skip up here and go right to your gimbal settings. So this is not mandatory, but this will be you'll be able to tweak uh, your attitudes on the three-axis system, your X, Y, and Z. And uh, say it leans a little to the left. This should correct it. Uh, mine was fine once I got it to here. With that fresh restart, it should be it should be working. You've done everything correctly. So if that didn't fix your problem, good luck. Um, I hear support's terrible, but uh, I hope I helped at least one person out there. Holy shit! It's a little loose, but it's not freaking out either. So that's a quick fix. So don't be disheartened if yours is freaking out. Just take it step by step and it'll save you from mailing it back and getting a new one. Kinetics out.